Hi, hello, how are you? I want to talk to you today about tipping point and what is it and how can you get to the tipping point which will help you to um, achieve more things and to get things done and to get even done those things that you don't really want to do but you know that you should do. So tipping point it's called today and have you seen the quiz program uh, and that's called tipping point and it's based on the um, the games that you get at the seaside you know where you put your two pence in or your ten pence in and it it goes down the the different ladders and um, it gets to a plate at the bottom and then a, it sweeps it towards the end and as it tips over the edge I mean there may be two rows but as it tips over that final edge that's the tipping point. It's that that point of no return where it, it's going regardless. And once it's got just over that tipping point, it's going to happen. It's going to fall off and there's nothing you can do to stop it. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is how you can get to that tipping point within your, um, your life, really, and with the things that you want to achieve. So let's have a few examples of what you might want to achieve. The first one that springs to mind maybe is going to the gym. But it could be anything. It could be um, housework. It could be starting a new course. It could be um, doing that job interview. It could be making new friends. It could be anything at all. Anything at all that you want Um it could even be getting more sleep. You know, anything at all. There is a tipping point in everything where you pass the point of no return. Or you might just think, well, I might as well do it now because I've got to this point. So I may as well just do it. So if we think about the um, gym example. So say that you want to go to the gym, but it's a bit of a struggle. It's a big effort. And you know that you really want to go... Well, you don't really want to go, but you know that you really should go or that you're trying to get fit. Um, but it's the end of a busy day. You're tired. You can't be bothered. You don't want to go. What is it that's going to make you get to the gym? Because you know that you need to go. So what is it that's going to make you get to the gym? What's your tipping point? That point where you think, well, I've got this far. I may as well just do it. So is it the time, so say you've come home, you're tired from work, you don't want to go out again, it might be dark, it might be cold, but what's that tipping point? So is it the point where you get in the car and you set off? So you've got in the car and you set off and you might as well, you think, well, I might as well go now because I'm on my way. A gym, so it might involve various stages. For example, it involves getting changed getting your gym kit on. It might involve getting in the car. It might involve the journey to the gym. It might involve going through that um, turnstile to actually get in the gym. It might be actually getting in the gym, getting on that machine or getting in that class. That might be your tipping point. But somewhere along the line, there's a tipping point for everybody in everything where you think, well, I've come this far. I might as well just go. I might as well just do it. I might as well just carry on. So is it is your tipping point the fact that you've got changed into your gym kit? Do you think, well, I'm changed into my gym kit. I might as well just go because I'm changed now. Or is it when you're in the car, you're on the journey. I might as well just go because I'm in the car now. I've got my gym kit on. I'm on the way. I may as well just do it. Or is it when you actually get to the gym and get through that turnstile and you think, well, I'm here now, so I might as well just crack on and enjoy it whatever it is there will be a tipping point along the way where you think I may as well just carry on so when you're thinking about going to the gym and you're thinking about all these things and you're thinking I need to change into my kit I need to get in the car and do the journey I need to actually get into the gym I need to get into the class I need to do the work and then afterwards I need to have a shower I need to um, do my hair I need to do all these things and then I'm going to be having my tea late and oh it's such a big mountain to climb 
it's just a massive effort to do all those things so let's just not go let's just stay where it's warm and it's easy and stay at home that's what your mind thinks because you've thought of all these different things that you have to do right up from from a to z right the way through to getting home late for your tea to faffing about with your hair whatever it is so instead of thinking of all those things and making it into a massive monster that you really can't tackle and that you really don't want to tackle and you decide not to do it just think up to the tipping point so if your tipping point is when you've got your gym kit on and you're in the car and you're at the gym whatever it is so say your tipping point is when you're on the journey to the gym all dressed in your kit and you think well i'm on my way now i may as well just go and it's not as bad then because you're on the way you're doing it and it's fine and you know that once you get into it you'll enjoy it so if your tipping point is that then just think about that so you get home um after a hard day at work maybe it's dark it's cold you don't want to to go all you need to think about is what you need to do to get you to that tipping point so all you need to think about is right all i need to do is get my kit on and get in the car and set off that's it because you know that once you're in the car with your kit on and you've set off you're gonna go anyway because you may as well because you've tipped over the edge so you're on your way you might as well just go and do it and enjoy it so that's your tipping point so just think about what gets you to the tipping point so instead of thinking about the whole rigmarole about um having a shower afterwards and doing your hair and being late for your tea and all that stuff and that massive massive mountain don't think about all that just think up to your tipping point all i need to do is get changed get in the car and set off that's just a tiny little bump that is easy to get over so just think up to your tipping point but it works with anything not just the gym obviously so for example if you want to um do some decluttering say or you want to clean your house just make that start just get yourself to that tipping point you know when you're maybe doing your decluttering you've got everything out on the bed you think well i might as well just do it now because everything's out so i'll just crack on and afterwards you feel brilliant because you've done it you know the cleaning you might think i just need to once i've got started once i've got all my cloths and things and all that sort of stuff um i might as well do it because i've started it same with a job i've rung up i've asked about it i've sent off for the application form i've started to fill it in whatever gets you to that tipping point where you think i may as well just carry on now because i've started just get to that point so just think about that in your head rather than the whole massive thing which is a massive massive mountain to climb just think up to your tipping point and it'll be so much easier so much easier same with diets things like that just think right i need to start this diet i need to get the join the class or get the books or get the food in whatever you need to do and once you've started it you're away don't think about the whole massive mountain journey whatever just think about that first bit that gets you to thinking i've started now so i'll finish so that's the tipping point um whatever your tipping point is everybody's different but whatever your tipping point is just think about that um not the rest of it and it'll be so much easier whatever task you're doing it'll be so much easier and it will get you on your way to doing whatever it is that you want to do so i hope that's been of interest to you and uh, any questions just let me know send me a message put me in the comments whatever and uh, i'll speak to you again soon bye